at the clinic, the joy for their surgeon was immediate. Hello, is this Dennis McCoyway? Yes. First of all, many congratulations on the award of the Nobel Peace Prize. It was so touching when I was operating and I hear people start to, to cry and it was so, so, so touching. That's lovely. So you were operating when you heard the news? Exactly. How, how, how very appropriate. When we met him in Panzi Hospital nearly a decade ago, he was already called the Angel of Bukavu, confronting the horrors of war with the hands of a skilled surgeon and the heart of a tireless advocate. I can help them heal physically, and sometimes it's also important to help them heal psychologically and tell them, you are not destroyed. For years, sometimes without electricity, often without water, McQuaggie tried to repair the victims of rape and sexual violence. Conducting at least 40,000 delicate surgeries in his career. In the eastern Congo, the conflict continues to ebb and flow. Rape always a favored weapon, women and young girls always a target. Left with brutal, often life-threatening injuries, yet McQuaggie has never become numb to their pain. To see these atrocities is something that dismays you. You have a feeling that you don't understand anything. You are completely perplexed by what you're seeing, but afterwards you have to react. And the reaction is to re-give life, re-give the dignity that has been lost, and try to repair what has been damaged. My personal joy is found in the strength of these women. McQuaggie always said that silence prolongs suffering. He helped his patients fight the stigma of rape to not accept victimhood, but to demand change. He took their message to the global stage, calling for justice, never shying from the horrifying reality that rape is a weapon of war. McQuaggie's brave stand made him enemies. He survived an assassination attempt in October 2012 and had to flee the country. But soon after, he returned to Panzi Hospital to his life's work, now recognized with the highest of honors. You can't just imagine how a smile, a simple handshake, to just tell them to be encouraged, to feel that they are loved. David McKenzie, CNN, Johannesburg.